everyone. Thanks for coming today. Um, so the policy we decided to look at um, has to do with placement exams. Um, so we chose this because it's the first step in any student going into college or returning to college. And we really wanna make sure we're maximizing the potential that these students are bringing in. Some suggestions that we would like to provide for potential improvement. Um, so one pretty simple little ad we could do is right after a student takes a placement exam, whether it be a DSP or another type, um, simply providing them with a link afterwards um, to automatically go and schedule an appointment with an advisor. And our focus was getting support for domestic violence survivors on campus. Our team came to the conclusion that an easy solution would be a peer-to-peer -peer support group on our campus at Pierce College. Thank you, Madison. So what would that look like? It would be just that peer-to-peer -peer support, a group ran by students who have experienced this and survived it for students who are survivors themselves or currently going through it. Our <laughs> Our presentation is covering the uh, Native American resources available at Highland College. Um, so the first problem that we um, came upon was when we were looking for Native American resources on campus. Um, the first one that popped up was the AANAPISI, which was the um, only one that popped up. And that stands for Asian American, Native American Pacific Islanders Serving Institute, um, which at first you would think, okay, Native American is, is included, right? But while looking at the information provided on their website, we noticed that throughout every sentence where students are mentioned, they only state AA and PI um, instead of also including Native American. We we're just like, well, hey, you know, there needs to be more for uh, Native American students out there, you know? So one of the solutions we wanted to propose was actually have a point person, like someone's actually assigned to provide the information um, to the guys who update the website so that about Native American resources uh, for that Highline and to always keep it consistently updated. Um, and then the second one would be to host a quarterly Native Summit and to be able to find a way to reach out to new students. Um, 240, which is the attendance policy here at Highland. Um, I would say one of the biggest solutions is recording the classes. If you're going to mandate attendance, you should give um, students an option to watch the lecture later if they end up having a conflict and a commitment outside of class. Thinking about student housing insecurity at TCC and the equity and effectiveness of the college housing assistance program. We, we, we have to bring forth the call to action surrounding this issue. Um, TCC, as Madeline had pointed out, is one of the largest colleges in the Puget Sound area. Um, four years ago, it was the largest uh, a college institution in the Puget Sound area. And as such, we should be setting the standard for what a community college can be and what a community college does. We need to be an example. As students at Tacoma Community College, we have decided to investigate the impacts that occur within our own school. We discovered that financial need was one of the biggest concerns, which in turn caused enrollment rates to drop. For this reason, we would like to dive into the accessibility of financial support that TCC offered to the students to relieve financial burden and how we can best prepare for emergencies in the future. Uh, the short-term need turned into long-term. Unfortunately, uh, two weeks didn't uh, slow the curve. And uh, we had a much longer um, impact from, from the pandemic than we expected. The restrictions of uh, being eligible to fill out FAFSA are in and of themselves a little bit um, disproportionately affecting students of color and students of uh, an immigration status. You need to be a citizen or an eligible non-citizen and you need to have a valid social security number. First generation uh, students experience unique challenges when navigating higher education. At this time, CBC does not take into account these unique challenges when designing and implementing resources. How can this inequity of resource access be resolved? We're proposing a Canvas page to help first-generation students primarily, but it can also be implemented for all students. Difficulty I have faced in regards to obtaining resources from the CBC webpage is that I found it isn't first-generation student friendly and it can lead to misinformation. An example being that last week I filled out the first result of the graduation application that came up on the CBC website, and it turned out to be the wrong form. First generation students like myself may have difficulties in identifying and recognizing the difference between correct and misinformation. And I chose to address the issue surrounding certain accommodations for veterans. Uh, so moving on to our analysis, we find that although Pierce does have some accom accommodations for uh, veteran students, there is lacking in data 
for them. There is lacking uh, or there's difficulty in accommodations. Uh, and there is also difficulty navigating throughout the websites and uh, communication. So we just find that those things are <laughs> lacking for veteran students. And our possible solution for this would be fixing the website so it's more streamlined to find the resources that veteran students would need, uh, collecting accurate and relevant data, and uh, possibly providing training to teachers so that they can actually help these students 